So we had some dried up egg on the side of the house here from some vandals, some young whippersnappers. And we are gonna get this off. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you how. You can tell it's got some oxidation issues, but it's made her aware. We're gonna make it look a lot better. She didn't even think we were gonna there was anything they could do about we could do about this, but I'm, I told her I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to get this off. We've done it before. I think we did it on aluminum siding, and it all came off. We've done it a couple times, so should be good. Egg is organic, so the house wash mix should eat it right up. All right, so we're just gonna spray it like a normal house wash, just downstreaming straight sh. And our surfactant. Tell it's coming off, it's changing colors. We'll probably let it dwell, we won't even need to scrub it. Really. See, uh -huh. once we rinse it, it'll come right off. Just like that. I'm gonna let that dwell and we're gonna go ahead and hit the front of the garage because there's a little bit on the front too. So this is, we haven't even rinsed it yet. It's all pretty much ate off. There's little pieces left, but it's good. So if you come across an egg removal job, just know it'll, it'll be an easy one. We're at the shop filling up the chem tank. Unfortunately, we couldn't Usually I have a cam lock and we connect to that hose over there, but our door is broken and I slammed it shut. We have to like barely close it, enough for it to latch, and then we can open it from the outside. When it slams shut, we can't open it. The exhaust is still hot as hell from the last job, so we just gotta fill it up straight in the tank. But anyway, we're filling up. You can see we're running low on chem. Called the supplier, Hawkins. Hawkins Incorporated for the SH. Uh, if you're in Illinois or that region, you have a good chance that they can deliver to you in bulk like this. It's like a couple bucks a gallon, I think, after delivery charges and stuff, so it's worth it. Um, but yeah, we ran out of chem, so we're pit stopping at the shop, this messy ass shop that we're gonna clean up soon. And, uh, and uh, we're gonna go do another house wash. And then we're going to circle back to the house we were just at and hit their windows. They want their windows clean. And we were going to do the window cleaning on the house wash that we're going to now, but they canceled because they didn't get their screens out. And they don't want us to come inside to take the screens out because of, because of the Rona. The Rona. The Rona job we did last year. This, uh... This house is like totally clean. There's no green. Gutters are clean, but we're doing a house wash. And the reason why is because we really blew it all apart for these people, and they really appreciated us. They're very happy. So they actually have signed up to do this every single year. They want their house wash, even though it's not dirty, just freshen it up. And it's kind of cool because we're cleaning a clean house, but even just rinsing it, you can see all the dirt that's built up on the siding, just dust and dirt. So they already told us to sign us up again next year. It's a full house wash and gutter cleaning every single year. So for something like this, we're gonna dilute our chem half and half because we don't need a super strong. We're just freshening everything up and uh, 
you know, anything where there's little organic growth growing, we're gonna get that knocked off. But this house is bright and clean and perfect year round. So there is people that want house washes year round and it's good to mention it and try to sell that. Even if you gotta package it in the form of a little bit of a discount, because the house wash is extremely simple when it's clean. You're just rinsing everything off, you know? So, food for thought.